So Starbug with a rover vehicle, the walk clamps on either end go up into space. Starbug with the car are now in orbit. You make sure that your flying garage is launched off. You make sure it's got a fuel transfer system into it. Because I tried to do a let's play and I've suddenly realised that uh, halfway through it <coughs> I didn't have a uh, one of these, these fuel transfer things that you're supposed to go up to and then it basically has like a petrol hose. So that when Starbug's in orbit, which she is now, um, you can refuel her once she gets to Red Dwarf. <coughs> do your rendezvous and uh, plane alignment with uh, the target craft. Get Starbug and Red Dwarf as close as possible to the point where you can practically throw a stone at them. There we go, Starbug 1.4 kilometres. Mm. And hopefully we should be able to just change ship. There we go. Line up Starbug with Red Dwarf stock and point there, like there nicely. Click on the reaction control system and start steering your ship. Line everything up so that uh, with your I, K, J, and L keys, which are your uh, <coughs> lateral thruster movements, and then when the uh, box that you're trying to line up with stops moving left to right, do a bit of a thrust, and then you'll slowly go towards the target you're trying to dock with. And you'll notice there that it's going down from 2.6 to 2.5. Make sure you are aligned up with the docking bay, and imagine that there are some green boxes here, just like there would be on any other flight sim. And then just try and make your way forwards, a little bit of shift, and then you'll slowly go towards the docking bay. I mean, come on, you've played Flight Simulator, <coughs> you've played TIE Fighter, you've played X-Wing, you've played all of these flight sims, and you know that there's a, a right way and a wrong way to dock, you've always got a dock sort of... Uh, going in and imagine that your ship is uh, starting off in those hoops and there are these imaginary hoops you're jumping through and just got to try and keep her straight and level as much as you can. Meanwhile on Red Dwarf make sure that you activate the dock the other end and go square brackets to go back to Starbug. Make sure you do the same for Starbug as well. Here we go, we're coming into dock now. Stand by any minute now, this is the uh, moment of truth. Down a bit to get through the cargo bay door. Okay, a little bit of N. And then quickly go back to Red Dwarf. And then we want to just stabilise everything here. And hopefully we have a successful docking. Let's just check. Capture confirmed. We've finally arrived. Now let's see if we can do a refuel. I've never done this before, so this will be a first time ever. Okay, here we are. We want to go around to Starbucks, um What is it, fuel transfer? Or do you want to go to the fuel transfer of the uh, space station, the um, Red Dwarf even? I don't know, what am I supposed to do here? <clears throat> Can anyone help me? What am I supposed to do? Well, welcome back on board uh, the ship. <clears throat> and 
obviously down there you can see uh, the rest of the docking bay and you should be able to see Starbug down there. I'll put him to sleep in one of the crew quarters. Here we go. Remember to use shift and control to uh, use your RCS around here. F board, F board. Okay, <coughs> we've got another Kerbal on board. Welcome on board. We've assigned you to quarters. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, blast the ship off out into space with both of them attached. But I think before we do that, it might be sensible to secure the cargo. <coughs> might be sensible to uh, close both the inner and airlock doors. So where is it? There's the inner airlock door. And there's the outer airlock door. There we go. All closed up.